In this problem, we uh, are looking at solving a linear system, that is, two equations with two unknowns, using elimination. That is where you eliminate one of the variables. And um, can you look at these two equations and solve for the variables without writing anything down? You'll notice here, we have a 3x and a, and a negative 3x. If you were to add the two equations together, the 3x and the negative 3x would go away. What would you be left with? Well, you'd be left with 3y is equal to, and here you have 9. And of course, 9, if you divide both sides by 3, you end up with... Um, y is equal to 3. Substituting that back into one of the equations, say the first equation, you have y is equal to 3x plus 12. If you were to substitute 3 for y, 3 is equal to 3x plus 12. Subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. Negative 9 is equal to 3x and divide both sides by 3 to get x is equal to negative 3. Or the solution would be negative 3 and the y, 3. To verify this is a solution, we'll plug it back into our original equations. When I plug in negative 3 for x and 3 for y into the first equation, you have 3 for y is equal to 3 times the negative 3 for the x plus 12. 3 is equal to negative 9 plus 12. And indeed, that is a solution. We'll also check the second equation. 2 times our y value is 3 is equal to negative 3 times the x value, which is negative 3, minus 3. Here you have 6 is equal to a negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3. And in fact, that's also a solution. <clears throat> it's not very frequent that the equations line up where one will eliminate from the other directly. It's more likely that you'll see a problem such as this. Now here you have the one x is positive and the other one is going to be negative. What would I have to add to 2x to make it go away, to eliminate it? You would add a negative 2x. Well, here I've got a negative 1x. If I were to take this second equation and multiply it by 2, you'd end up with 2y is equal to negative 2x minus 8. I'm multiplying 2 by each of the terms. That's equation number 2. Rewriting equation number 1, we have y is equal to 2x plus 2. When you add these two equations together, the x is eliminated. That's why they call this method elimination. Here you have 3x, or 3y is equal to negative 6. I'll divide both sides by 3, doing the inverse operation in order to isolate the variable. So you have y is equal to negative 6 divided by 3, which is negative 2. Now we'll substitute that back into one of the two equations. Let's choose equation number 2. y is equal to negative x minus 4, or negative 2 is equal to negative x minus 4. And here if we add 4 to both sides of the equation, we have 2 is equal to negative x, divide both sides by negative 1, and you get x is equal to negative 2. So my solution, the xy, is equal to negative 2, comma negative 2. And to check this, we'll plug these values for x and y into both the first equation and the second equation. Plugging it into the first equation, negative 2 is equal to 2 times negative 2 plus 2. 
That's why I'm plugging these values for x and y into the first equation. Negative 2 is equal to negative 4 plus 2. This checks. So this point is on this first line. Now let's check this point with the second line. We have negative 2, that's my y value, is equal to negative, and I put this in parentheses, negative 2, minus 4. Negative 2 is equal to a negative times a negative is a positive, minus 4, and indeed this checks as well. A third problem regarding these uh, using uh, elimination occurs when you may have to multiply both equations by something in order to eliminate the variable. I don't know if we have to here or not, but I'll notice that this is a y, this is the x and 13. I'm not lining up my variables very well. I want to get the x lined up with the x here. So I'll add 13 to both sides of this equation. So my equation number 2 becomes 4y is equal to x plus 13. And now if I rewrite equation number 1, I have 3y is equal to 9x minus 15. Well, I need to multiply this by something to eliminate one of the variables. I could multiply the top equation by 3 and the bottom equation by negative 4, and that would eliminate the y. Or I could multiply the first equation by negative 9. If I do that, then this will become 9x, negative 9x plus 9x. Well, negative 9 times 4y is equal to negative 36y. That's equal to negative 9x minus 13 times 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 1 is 9, 117. That's from equation number 2. Rewriting equation number 1. Oh, they're right next to each other. When you add these two equations together, the x's go away. I'm left here with negative 33y is equal to negative 2, 3, 132. Hmm. If I divide both sides by 11, I'll get negative 3y is equal to 11 goes into 13 once, 11 goes into 22 two times, negative 22. Oh, and I could divide both sides by negative 3. So y is equal to 4. A lot of process, but there's some a little bit harder problem. Now we'll substitute this value into one of the two equations to solve for the other variable. I'll substitute it into this second equation. We have 4y minus 13 is equal to x, and we'll substitute this value for y here. So we have 4 times 4 minus 13 is equal to x. That's 16 minus 13 is equal to x, or 3 is equal to x. So my solution is the x and the y, 3 comma 4. And finally, we'll substitute this into our original two equations to verify and check that they are indeed solutions, the x and the y. When I substitute 4 for y, I get 3 times 4 is equal to 9 times 3 minus 15, or 12 is equal to 27 minus 15. So this, from the first equation, checks. Now we'll substitute it into the second equation. 4 times y, which is 4, is, let's see, minus 13 is equal to 3. That's just 16 minus 13 is equal to 3, and that also checks. So the point is on the second line. The point is also on the first line. And that's all there is to it. Good luck and success.